So this is day two of the move. I am currently in Klandaf. I've just left my friend's house, uh, Darren. Uh, I'll be sure to tell his story. He was actually my tour guide when I came out to Cardiff back in, uh, what would it be, in probably November or December of last year, 2019. When I was considering the move out to Cardiff, you know, I wanted to, uh, well, out to Wales, I wanted to meet somebody out here who lived in the area who could tell me all about you know, what it's like having life out here, how the, you know, menial stuff, how the garbage works, recycling, how to get on the bus, that kind of stuff. And uh, he's been a very good friend. We've kept in touch since the move out here. And he's been very kind to lend me a room in his house. He's got, he's a very active guy. He does farming, construction, all kinds of stuff. I'll tell Darren's story some other time, but this morning it's cold and damp. It's pretty, you know, <laughs> very typical Welsh weather. Um, I'm heading up to the train station now. I've got an appointment with the real estate agent at 10 a.m. It is now about quarter past eight in the morning. It takes me about an hour on the train. I've got a change at Pontypridd. And uh, yeah, I'm doing all the administration stuff today. Hopefully I'll get the keys. So once I get that, uh, I might spend some time in the town. A lot of people on the Facebook group told me to come by and grab a coffee. So I'm gonna go and see if I can meet anyone. And uh, the movers are coming tomorrow morning. So 3 p.m. today, uh, the movers are gonna pick up all my stuff in Waltham Abbey, Essex. And then I think I will meet them in the morning. So tomorrow morning, which will be the 9th of the, of the 7th, 2020, I will be in my new place in Aberdeer. So yeah, here we go, guys. We're heading up to Aberdeer this morning. right now I just changed over to track three heading up to Aberdeer lovely rainy weather there's a lot of construction going on so this is this is the happening town man. this is the space uh, yeah I think if ever I were to buy a place in Wales it'd probably be Ponty but yeah beautiful place and uh, I'm just waiting to catch my train to go up to Aberdeer so uh, should be a good day I am in Abadir, beautiful rainy weather. Uh, I've got about half an hour to get to the agent, uh, but it is such a beautiful town. I was actually quite nervous coming up on the trip. It's like, what am I doing, making this move? All this kind of stuff, the, the train is very loud. But then uh, the minute I saw the gymnasium and the other things and the view, I was just like, this is where I'm supposed to be. So guys, this is, this is the place. This is the town. This is one of the peaks. I'm on the bridge over the, the freeway highway, I suppose. So 
yeah, I'm enjoying the view. I'm gonna take a walk around, see if I meet anyone. The Welsh adventure begins out here in Aberdeen. So yeah, I've just finished up at the agency. I have gotten my entry certificate and I have got the keys. So I'm going to go over to the property now, open it up, take a look, hopefully meet some people. Uh, he was just telling me about a good place to get breakfast. He says the ranch, I don't know if you can see this, somewhere, uh, I guess it's right, this one, where I'm pointing. The ranch diner does a good breakfast apparently, so I will be looking forward to that. So I'm walking to the place now, there's a Thai massage shop across the road, I'm right next to the post office, um, this is the pharmacy behind me here. So yeah, I'm gonna go and take a look at my place and plug in and charge my phone. And apparently here does a good breakfast as well. This is Joe, so we shall see, we shall see. And I'm right next, there's a pub right here. So this is gonna be exciting guys, this is exciting. I've, I've got my first place, they made it very easy. I'm gonna go in, check it out, take some pictures of the place and then I'm gonna start making some calls to make sure everything's set up. So I'll see you inside. Right, so I've just got my water set up with um, Welsh Water, <laughs> I guess is the company. <laughs> How convenient. Spoke to a wonderful gentleman named Ken. Uh, he knew a friend who had a wife that was from Trinidad and Tobago. And apparently he ate some of the best meals he's ever had uh, with his friend. So he hooked me up on the water. Going to, uh, the electricity is, and gas is prepaid. So I'm gonna, I just got that set up as well. I'm going to go down to the post office, I assume, and I'm going to set up, I'm gonna put 20 pounds on each of them. I, I, I don't know how much. I'm probably not gonna use a lot of gas because as you guys know, I'm on the carnivore diet. I, it's mostly air fryer, <laughs> there's a lot of electricity. So I'm gonna put 20 pounds on each and uh, then I'll come back and charge my phone. And then I'll, we'll take a little walk around town. So that's how we go. So I was about to head out from Abadir and then I realized that there is a train blocking the trains leaving the city to get back to Pontypridd. So I'm going to have to take the bus back to Pontypridd. So yeah, this is going to be exciting. This is a first. So guys, I'm on the bus. Apparently there's a sinkhole that's opened up. It's probably very loud. You probably can't write. So there's a sinkhole that's opened up. So we're going to have to take the scenic route into Ponty. Uh, yeah, the trains are done for the day, so yeah, I'm enjoying the bus ride out. I'm probably going to be back in Cardiff really late, so hope you're enjoying the adventure. So yes, I am in Pontypridd, managed to get on the train to Barry Island, <sighs> it's tired. Met some interesting people, I met James on the bus, interesting guy, he's been filling me in on, you know, life in Aberdeer. And uh, then I met Rob, he actually reminds me a lot of uh, Owen. He has the same kind of blue eyes, Irish guy, young kid, 24 years old, just like Owen. I was like, oh my God, look at that, man. You know, the universe is replacing my friends. <laughs> um, yeah, he's in a band. His parents live out in, uh, Bur um, what did you say? Fuck, I can't remember. But yeah, anyway, I'm on my way down. All of my stuff is being packed up. My friend uh, Joe has been very kindly sending me pictures of the moving men. Apparently, they're still working on the wardrobe that I want them to disassemble. I, I hope they can get that done. Uh, even if they smash it up, uh, all right, fine, I'll just replace it. There's a scheme right now in the UK where they want to give every household, I think, like 500 pounds or something. If that happens, I'll be able to replace the wardrobe and get a decent, uh, get a decent uh, couch bed because everybody wants to come visit. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, continuing my adventures. 
So my stuff is being packed up in Essex. I'm on my way back to Klandaf uh, in Cardiff. Stay one more night and then tomorrow I move in to my new place. So you can probably hear the train leaving. I'm back in Klandaf. It's raining. <sighs> that took a while, but I managed to make it. I'm heading back to my friend Darren's house. Lease is signed. Electricity is hooked up. Water is hooked up. I still got to do the council tax when I get it by Darren. I'll use the laptop for that. Also going to order my washing machine. So I'll get that sorted as well. But yeah, Joe has been sending me the pictures. They've just loaded up the fridge and the beast of the dryer. I was looking at the room. I don't know where I'm going to put the dryer, to be very honest. <laughs> they managed to disassemble my wardrobe and they're off. So I figured uh, the moving company will give me a call tomorrow and I will go up and meet them and have them bring the stuff in. So yeah, exciting times. So this is the end of day two, although I have a little bit of computer work to do. I'm going to sign up for the council tax and put in the order for my dryer. But beyond that, it's good success. It was a good day. So to be continued, day three is coming up, coming up next.